Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the live today. I uh, have a esteemed cricket journalist uh, coming up shortly. But uh, uh, keep the comments going. Keep the likes going. Uh, took a break yesterday. Did not see a single moment of GT versus Pupkas. But uh, today is fun times. Fun times. Uh, immediately, people are calling me Boomer uh, because labeling is always fun. Sun says Boomer problems with tech. Been there. I know. Uh, no such thing. It was just. Uh, I just had a very, very busy day. So I tried my best to start on time. But unfortunately, my timing, much like Ajinkya Rahane, was not at point today. Not at point at all. Uh, I think between Rahane, Gaikwad and uh, Mitchell, I think they scored with 60 runs and 60 balls, which obviously is a great start uh, to a, a T20 match. Uh, I'm going to bring on my guest for the day. Keep your comments coming again. The way the show works is I'll talk to my guest a little bit and then I'll take some questions from you. Questions, statements, jokes. Chutkula, whatever you have to share with us, please share. All right, let's do it. Bringing on uh, Mr. Suresh Menon. Suresh Menon, how are you, sir? Good evening, sir. Welcome to the show. Oh, uh, sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> After the match. So it got over before it started, I felt. So, yeah, good evening, good evening. How are you all, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. It had no momentum, this match. It was like right from the start. I think the only person who tried to play aggressively was Dubey. Everybody else. And, and of course, Abhishek Sharma. Was killing it, but what was that? What was point? I mean, you know, Patirana, you know, at the moment he was not there in the team, I thought, Ki, what are they trying today? You yeah. know, it's a, probably I thought they would try to win with their best bowlers and all that stuff. And uh, I was, Shardul didn't get a chance to bowl at all, did he? Shardul's I mean, not he was, they've chosen Tushar, Tushar, Pande, uh, Tushar Desh Pandey over because Pande. they, yeah, because, because they basically think, realized. Huh. If, if they had gotten some uh, bowlers who could bowl the slower balls very well, that was uh, Shardul. He could have been there in the team today. I don't know why. Uh, maybe they, you know, sometimes uh, you do realize Dhoni is a great captain because yeah. I'm sure he's not interfering too much in Gaikwad's captaincy because he's just trying to be, uh, 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 you know, to, to give him the whole reins of the, doing this thing himself. But uh, not necessarily that brings the result that Chennai would want to see. Are, absolutely. I'm going, to, I'm going to go through the scorecard again, okay, and just sort of share with you how poor it was. Because I think with Rahane, like Rahane, I think throughout this knock, was going through what he went through in the Ranji Trophy. Uh, <laughs> where it's like, where it's like just not happening. So, okay, uh, Rudhans Gaiga 26 to 21, Rahane 35 of 30. And let's add uh, Daryl Mitchell for fun, 13 of 11. So, between them, they scored 61, 74 runs in uh, 62 balls. Uh, which in a T20 game is just nothing, dosto. I, I think also Sunrisers uh, bowled well to yeah. give them due credit. <laughs> but yeah. uh, uh, you know, because they were mixing up with mixing it up with the slower balls very well. Somehow, when Tushar Deshpande is uh, he tries to be a tearaway fast bowler, but of course, with the speeds that we have seen during this edition of IPL, anything below 150 seems to be medium pace now. <laughs> 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 so that's the fun, that's the thing. But yeah, I thought uh, Dubey played very well, and I did catch a few sixes of his because I was live with Jose uh, during the match when they were batting. Um, Guy Quad again disappointed. I thought uh, captains would make him bat a little bit more than usual, you know. So he does have the skill, does have the talent, but somewhere down the line, I feel that captaincy is bogging him down a little bit where his batting is concerned. And uh, Rachin Ravindra. I don't know. He should perhaps now not say that, you know, he's inspired by Sachin and Rahul Dravid. <laughs> yeah, he's more Rahul Dravid now. Yeah, now, I know, he, uh, yeah, now I know why he got uh, he was, got sold so cheap. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Rachin, but, but yeah. Yeah, but it was, it was uh, I mean, a great bowling by the way. You know, it is so interesting where, I, I don't know who said it in the commentary today, where they said the game now in, in the IPL this year is to figure out how to know the pitch as quickly as possible. Like how to understand as quickly as possible how you can change the pitch. Now, the advantage of of uh, CSK batting first was that they saw ki pitch mein kya hai. Kya karne ka hai pitch mein samaj mein aagaya. But they're still like, nahi, hum sikhenge nahi. Hum apna yeah. khud ka karenge. And I'm like, boss, ye, bo ye slower balls chala. They, they're showing stats of the slower balls and all. And I was going yeah. through kick info and other crick and all. And they're saying, boss, slower ball use hi nahi kiya in log ne. They were just like, apna khud ka karte hai. Uh, seriously, I feel, I, I mean, 
uh, yeah, see, that's why I'm saying Dhoni uh, was at the helm. He would have definitely been solid advice. They keep on saying, se dal, se dal, se dal. You know, he keeps on screaming that from behind the stump. But now I, you, you can see that he's quietened down quite a bit. You don't hear him too much. But anyway, he was not very chirpy. But I think now he's completely silent and he's just waiting and watching. Of course, I'm sure he has a few hand gestures to tell the certain messages are communicated. Uh, I won't dare to do any hand gestures now because it may come out wrong. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Today's match is really... Is there anything to talk about? No. Dude, there is, I'll tell you who there is to talk about. Abhishek Sharma, who's become basically Yuvraj Singh's protege from nowhere. Okay. Suddenly, Achanak, where, uh, in second to last match where he got out, he slammed them. And then he got out on some stupid shot. And then <laughs> Yuvraj Singh tweeted saying, uh, well played, uh, sir, great shot. But as you are out, you should have a hat and you should not have a hat and you should not have a hat. So, fully taken. UV, Yuvraj Singh has become Yograj Singh for Abhishek Sharma. So, I mean, not, I'm enjoying the vibes. <laughs> yeah, where is, where is the justice? No? I love the way when ex-cricketers... Uh, see, we, are, we can be armchair critics because we are your fans and because of us, the whole uh, IPL is driven. So, we, we got every right Arimaf. to say a lot of things, right? But uh, I feel... I, 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 I feel that, you know, uh, ex-cricketers go very harsh. Haven't we seen Yuvraj also throwing away his wicket many a time when he's on yeah. three, five, measly scores and he decides to go in for that one expensive shot and used to get out. So, I think it's yeah. rather unfortunate he shouldn't be saying these things to Abhishek. Uh, uh, you know, you should, the, the kid's, uh, kid is good and I'm sure he'll find his way. But uh, somewhere down the line... Uh, at, uh, the risk of people calling me a boomer again. I feel uh, these are these players are good for IPL. I don't know how, they, how much they'll perform when they face uh, international bowling. Dude, I think we really need to have a delineation between Indian cricketers playing in IPL versus them playing in like Ranji Trophy or ODIs or Test. Because like with with even with Ruturaj Gaikwad, okay, I'm I'm generally like okay, I was going through some stats. Okay, SE Bekar, but to pretend ki I'm Jared Kimber. Okay, let's go through the stats. I went through the top 20 uh, individual highest scores in this uh, IPL so far. Okay, starting with Shubhan Gil 89. They've been about out of the top highest score, they've been uh, seven occasions where the person scoring the highest score for the team has actually not won the match. The team hasn't won the match. Number one, uh, Shubhan Gil 89, uh, day before uh, yesterday. Uh, Virat Kohli 83 versus KKR, Shikhar Dhawan 70 versus LSG, Telak Verma versus SRH, wo rehne hi do. Nicholas Puran again, very close match for four, uh, four runs. Uh, Heinrich Klassen 63 again, close match. KL Rahul, very shocking. Uh, he's usually <laughs> his strike rate in that match was 131 again. <laughs> then Rishabh Pan versus KKR, which again 220 he was a strike rate. But this is this is what like okay, even if you look at Shubman Gill uh, yesterday, 89 of 48 is what he scored. Right now, in context, fantastic score. Strike rate, great, amazing. 185, just awesome. But I'm sure if you break up what he did toward the end versus what he did in the middle, like you need to start breaking down these innings into the last 10 balls. If he scored like 17 versus somebody else who would have scored 24, right? That's the yeah. big difference now. And I think a lot of, especially Indian and Asia country, I would say Asia, because Baba Raza was like this, he was like this, even the strike rate was great. So genuinely, I have a feeling that these guys, it's in their team's best interest for them to score 60. Heinrich Klassen, as much as he played, Nicholas Puran, as much as Rishabh Pan, as much as he played, even Riyan Parag, I would say. But the rest of them, I think it's way better for them to just score 50 and go home. It's going to happen. Exactly. I feel somewhere down the line, now they know what the passing mark is for the next season. So, it's not going to happen. They don't take a load. It's not going to happen. They don't take a load. They don't take a load. Because I'm sure with these scores, their uh, contracts are going to be just, uh, you know, uh, renewed and they won't be looking at how what the victory margins are. I mean, what the victory percentages are. Because uh, somewhere down the line, everyone knows that you have to save seat and you have to see what you have to do. You know, it's like throwing the hanky on a train seat when you're getting inside that ring. This is reserved. <laughs> so, they're first throwing the handkerchiefs on the seat and then they say, okay, okay, I'm going to sit window seat, I'm going to open the window seat. Now, let's try this match mein try karte because the averages are working out. So, let me try and... Uh, bat a bit, a bit more fearlessly. Uh, I think during the middle stage, we'll see that uh, some of the people who normally during IPL have seen who start off very well, uh, middle matches and the latter matches, they are like, um, chalo, gaya, gas has gone completely out of them. But uh, first few matches, if they make an impact, 
they are noticed they are talked about the press picks it up uh, there are a lot of memes made on them a lot of social media conversation and there you go your next season is booked yeah yeah but, but i completely agree i think like uh, there is a lot of like uh, going into your own self hype and i'm sure you've yeah. noticed this with actors and all also right oh, like yeah. salman khan yeah. who's uh, uh, decided uh, kunal kamra is uh, <laughs> By the way, for yeah. those of you who don't know, uh, Suresh Venn is a veteran actor. He's done 66 films. I know the number somehow or the other. I don't know how I know the number, but I know the number because we've discussed it at length. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Suresh is a very veteran actor. He's also just done Big Boss Malayalam, and uh, he uh, was the winner, not uh, in the actual show, but in our hearts. And uh, I never saw an episode, but uh, for me, Suresh is always winner. So let's just say that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That was an experience. Uh, you know, so I was just thinking that maybe you know all these IPL players also go through a big boss experience in the sense that you know during COVID we did see that they were in the what do you call the what is it called? I forgot the. What is it called? Damn it! I forgot. See, thank God, COVID is over. So in the bubble, in the bubble, <laughs> yeah, in yeah, the yeah. bubble. Yeah. So it's like being uh, totally restricted from outside news. You're just inside, and these are your uh, family, friends, or whatever you make out of them, and you have to only interact with them. There no nobody else to talk to. Uh, same thing. IPL players must also be going through that, I guess, but uh, not really now. Since social media has this Insta reels banana. Ah, everything. You think some of them would be interested? Jaldi out ho jata hai. Insta reel banana hai. किसी का तो हंड्रेड परसेंट कोई ऐसा प्लेयर है जो आउट होने के टाइम पे वो पेविलिंग की तरफ जाते समय लाइक मे बी दिवस क्रेजी नॉट इन देर हेल्प थिंकिंग क्या रील बनेगा यार कल पूरा टाइगर एंड टाइगर जिंदा है something like that they'll just put use that as a meme and all this stuff wow yeah. man yeah um, but it's exciting times i must say the, the, the i think this year we see a lot of uh, action i'm especially impressed with that fast bowler from uh, mayank yadav mayank yadav uh, yeah. yeah from lucknow and i was hoping that i would get to see umran bowl today yeah you know, sadly he didn't uh, i didn't take him in the team at all so i was hoping that he would come in to bowl because uh, uh, to see him now competing against uh, mayank would be really interesting both of them can uh, mayank has proven that he has most of his balls are coming i mean uh, about 150 umran i think would also want to match up to that it would be great to see two youngsters competing for speed are you dude for, i mean can you imagine yeah can you imagine like i think the only time you've had two bowlers bowling 150 plus i'm saying for any team was west indies ka quartet as it speak oh, man, maybe yeah. pakistan maybe pakistan maybe pa- and then of course west- shonted and bretley that was the only three that, the fact that you can only count three of them in your fingers is crazy i, I don't know if south it. africa because uh, nokia is uh... 150 Yeah, um, 150. 150 is exhilarating. No, so I would have loved to see Umran play this match. Do, but also the thing is that the fast bowling ka jo hai, my, matlab barring Bradley and the West Indies cricketers and all, like even if you speak to Shoaib and all, you know that ये चलेगा बहुत limited time के लिए. तो ये limited offer है. Uh, like when you are looking for headphones and uh, all you get is wired headphones on so of Sony on Amazon and then you just like चलो 800 रुपए का मिल रहा है तो पहन ही लेते stream पे. That's what fast bowlers are like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use them when they are like at their peak of 155 right uh, like mayank yeah. yadav yeah like they they should have done that with umran malik and i would say increasingly with mayank yadav matlab ek match mein to world cup mein khilana hi chahiye if he's fit um, yeah and yeah they're saying that he's still not ready but uh, i've seen lot of fast bowlers lose their uh, enthusiasm once they start getting rejected by the selectors you uh, know consistently yeah. so somewhere down the line i think uh, 
uh, the franchises ipl franchises especially when they know that there are bowlers bowlers of uh, capable of bowling at such speeds they should encourage them I'm, i was really shocked and surprised that umran didn't get a lot of opportunities the last ipl uh, though he did get to play one or two internationals but i think they should persist with him because uh, there's something about his speed and this uh, and i think he's got a brilliant action also so i hope yeah. to see him this ipl maza aayega are dude that cameron green ball i mean that again it's like i think what devesh shrivastava right now just said which is good length his length is beautiful uh, but is he another umran malik matlab it's like with umran malik dude i went to see a match in uh, chennaiswami stadium it was india a versus new zealand a aur hum log literally mere bachche aur main we were just waiting for umran malik to come and bowl and we didn't get a chance to see it but afterwards we saw the highlights and he just he just didn't look le- look ready at the time so uh, no. i can get with umran malik but with mayank yadav even in two matches you can tell yeah like you know here's the thing okay you, you know when you see somebody acting or a stand up comedian or some musician who has done 3 minutes in front of your stupid face you are like ha kuch to hai matlab yeah. you can tell yeah. you can tell immediately right correct Um, so that I, I you nailed it you know exactly so i don't know why, why we can see it but why the selectors can't yeah they won't they'll they'll not select and they'll eventually go like let's go for the tried and tested formula guy dude and here's the thing here's what i'm worried about in uh, okay if anybody gets the chance watch jared kimber talking about how batters score their runs in the ipl it's a great video because he talks about how kohli is just literally he scores two runs and over in the, the death right like kohli strike rates are actually damn good right and so i to think like purely forget him being kohli just from a strike rate pov he would be one somebody who i would be like chalo dal do because a pressure handling you need somebody like that but now the thing yeah. is you have kohli and rohit sharma right who, who are, let's quote say quote and quote conventional cricketers india yeah. needs full dhamal everybody else needs to go and smash the shit out of it we, like we do and which is why i i i, I don't see a place for jadeja in the indian world cup team Uh, we need people to photo. We need like sab ko jaake phodne ka hai ne. So chance nahi hai. Boss, US ke pitches mein they're doing bloody uh, laid in pitches and shit, which are going to be easy to bat on. Is is what the assumption is. So uh, oh. yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, I think it may be just the opposite one. Say land up ho the. Pata chala ek bara bara se uh-huh. banana nahi hai. Thoda issues hai, bhai. Uh, but we'll we, we'll Sara feel Sara. We we are looking into it. We it was like all your baseball pitch. <laughs> so yeah, sort of. So I think, but that. that would be an interesting world cup i am still i got no clue why they took it to us because uh, traditionally it would have been great to watch uh, matches uh, on proper cricketing uh, in proper cricketing countries and uh, some of the famous stadiums so we are going to miss that uh, of yeah. course west indies is still a part of the uh, world cup uh, uh, what do you call the venues but uh, i don't know somehow there is a thrill in you know when it's england it's india or in all those australia all those famous uh, stadiums that you get to see and uh, see uh, history being repeated sometimes we we are seriously going to miss that it's going to, i hope they don't make uh, the world cup another <laughs> you know like a circus kerry packers circus that you to happen earlier yeah and and somebody was saying that dude in the us the only people who are going to show up for the matches are the indians and the pakistanis and bangladeshis and sri lankans and the nepalis like yeah. like people there uh, m- most americans are already ki mere ko nfl dekhne ka hai mere ko baseball dekhne ka hai mere mere ko mma dekhne ka hai they don't give a shit it's nowhere <laughs> there. Yeah. so basically cricket is going to appeal to about 3.2% of the american population which is still not bad it's about like 9 million people so chale ya theek hai no problem uh, do you do you think they'll miss out on the uh, collection uh, stadium with the pe- number of people <laughs> that were actually think about it maybe they still got time to change the venue <laughs> business is dando 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 che this is my conspiracy where somebody was saying hey they going to shift it out for the elections but i'm like nahi uh, the conspiracy is that collections hote hai na stadium mein to you yeah maine kuch nahi kaha bhai Okay, let's take uh, let's take some uh, chats that have popped in. We have some fun chats uh, coming in. Um, Wait, where is this gone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, George says, uh, uh, "Dhoni, great performance in the bat, hair length, perfect length. Time for final photo shoot." Absolutely correct, George. Brilliant one, George. <laughs> That is right. <laughs> Nailing it. Dhoni is here with the hair for only the final. That's his plan. And after that, thirty-seven and sixteen, you can't even say anything. You're like, "Ah, okay, yeah." And by the way, Fleming said, "No, sorry, not Fleming." Um, 
Hasi said that he's not even at full fitness. I'm like, boss, Dhoni ka full fitness kya hai fir? Kisse kya fitness chahiye bhai? Idhar ko. He knows something that we don't know. Huh? Maybe just he's got some throat issue, laryngitis or something like that. He's yeah. not too much. Maybe that's, yeah, that's not a... full fitness. You know, I'm not going to say anything. I just want the people to play well. I'm very happy with Rituraj the way he played. Uh, basically, he had great captaincy, but we lost. So, <laughs> is is that is that your Dhoni impression? Yeah, that is slightly. Yeah, it's okay, more I'm like. Gonna, I'm, uh, gonna I'm, I'm gonna try mine. I'm gonna try mine. I thought it was a great performance by the boys. They really did well. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, 24 hours are there in the day, and eight hours you're playing cricket. And out of that, if you're doing two hours where you're hitting sixes, that's good enough for me. Is <laughs> I, yeah, you win, you win, you win. Really, <laughs> I'll hear you. Yes, I mean, Suresh, I know the impression of doing this. Absolutely, did I should not try try and imitate you, so I get Dhoni properly. You know. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. I'm going to learn that. <laughs> yeah, it's basically it's basically uh, this is a weird way to put it. It's more manly safe. <laughs> it's safe oh, with yeah. more alpha energy. Okay, yeah, well, okay, well, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's oh, take a God. few more comments. Pranam Adhanand says Rahane's innings today reminded me of Ishan Avasti crying in Tare Zameen. Pe. I'm doing. I'm trying. Ma, C A B C D L. <laughs> reference to it <laughs> okay um, um what's it uh, shona said the greatest ipl uh, review show is on air oh my god you're watching cricket buzz or but uh, thanks <laughs> a lot <laughs> oh great cricketer those those two are current uh, this thing um uh, shona said rahane in 2024 should be in legends league not <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Don't come on. Last year you played damn well. <laughs> he had one good moment in this uh, game as well. Um, and Devesh Shivastav says, "Hello, Solo. Long time no see. Everyone like the stream. Yes, please like the stream so that more people sort of tune in. Uh, we'll get into a little bit of analysis. But again, I mean, neither of us are cricket experts. Even though there is a cricket expert out there called Suresh Man, which is hilarious. <laughs> so this is not yeah. the solution." <laughs> Yeah, there is, there is. He's a sports journalist, and Suresh Mal, very uh, respected journalist, he used to write for Indian Express earlier. And yeah. now I think he's so much uh, as the others branched out into freelancing. Yeah, yeah. So okay, Suresh is an actor. So just random stuff has a very important acting question to you. Can someone please explain what's the meaning of pass? I E N A ad of Kapil Sharma. What is this ad? Do you know anything about well, this ad? If I if I see it, I'll let you know. But right now. No, I don't know. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> you, even I generally don't know the ad. I've forgotten the ad. Maybe. Ah, maybe... sorry, na. <laughs> Kya ad? Is it the one? No idea. No idea. Na. No idea. I mean, I listen. Know. If it's a Durex ad, <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Or maybe it's other other ad where Ranveer Singh and uh, Johnny Sins are there together. Ha 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 very interesting yeah. ad first time i've seen a lot of uh, freely used double meaning jokes and i quite enjoyed it and yeah. also there's a, yeah and i like the person who is dubbed for johnny since that was very funny yeah yeah but uh, it's it, let's talk quickly about the match there was one uh, person who's really struggling and i don't like this person to, to see this person struggling because i think great uh, you know as they say servant of the game i like when they say this person is a servant of the game It's anyway servant itself is a weird word to use for anybody anymore in, in 2024. Today, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm just going to say he's been a great servant. Of the, like, please stop. I saying. think servants have been replaced by servers. You know, servers not working, Wi-Fi is down. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My my servant is 33 GB. That's what that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so who is this sir? Bhuvi, Bhuvi, Bhuvi Kumar has not uh, really been at peak form. Uh, pace seems to be down. Accuracy seems to be down. Um, might be, I think maybe they were trying him for one more match, but um, I don't know how he ended up at the end of the day. But um, yeah, uh, I mean, still Bhuvi four yeah. was no made in twenty eight runs, one wicket. Okay, then I withdraw everything I said. That's yeah, not bad. Today apparently was in form and he bowled well. Yes, he was not at all, but he got. Who's wicket? Let's see over here. He got a Rachin Ravindra. <laughs> I think Rachin Ravindra is going to have an issue once he goes back to play for New Zealand. Because I think yeah. after the IP experience, I I can see that he's looking tense nowadays. He's not looking like that cool cat that he was when he scored those runs and knocked off so many sixes. He doesn't seem to be that same guy anymore. 
सो आयदर समबडी हैज टोल्ड हिम की तू थोड़ा बेटा थोड़ा रुक के ध्यान से खेलना <laughs> अपना विकेट yeah. फेंकना नहीं तू रुकना विकेट पे रुकना चाहिए सो इज प्लेइंग टेस्ट मैचेस नाउ इट इज 12 रन्स फॉर एट 9 बॉल्स टू फोर्स दैट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट एनीवन एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ हिम बट नाउ आई नो व्हाई दे डिडंट पे टू मच फॉर हिम इट न्यू समथिंग कुछ तो गड़बड़ है पहले से नो ये हां ठीक है But dude, it's so interesting, right? Where they just figured out that his arc is on the left side. So they, in the, la- the la- match before this, also they were like, DC was like, "Boss, um, we are going to bowl everything outside the off stump over uh, 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 Yorker length." And then he just didn't know what to do. And then today again, roughly the same thing. So I'm like, it's so interesting with the international. And this seems like such a basic international cricket thing. And I'm like, boss, forget Rav- Rachid Ravindra. I think you could do this to any batter. <laughs> Like, why don't you do it more? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> Seriously, I I hope even as we are talking right now, somebody in the dressing room of Chennai is like taking their ass out on the you know temper out on the fast bowlers and saying, who the hell asked you all to bowl fast? <laughs> you know, <laughs> initial yeah, top yeah. top everything just went off. You know, it was hardly a great strike. It was all great timing. That yeah. showed the bowlers coming on very easy, and of course, when you saw that later on in the slow bowlers came, there was yeah. some little bit of purchase. And I don't know, you know, we know uh, vintage Dhoni would have probably, you know, gotten after uh, one over of such massive bashing, they already 42 odd runs in the second over. He would have gotten a spinner or something just to slow down the things. That didn't happen today, you know, yeah. or even a, just a medium pacer to just slow down the things that were happening on the ground at that moment. That didn't yeah, happen we... somehow. you know what i honestly wanted to see in this match i wanted to see how a dhoni uh, would look at classen that's what because if you remember like one of the most interesting things i ever saw in the ipl was sunil narayan was in one of the ipls was fodowing everybody like just smashing them everywhere and then dhoni came up with a tactic of harbhajan singh and they're like boss his strike rate against spinner tere ko malum bhi hai dhoni kuch malum hai life mein tere ko kuch and then he did, Habaji just started bowling ball spinning away from Narayan in that match, and he yeah. got out in like six balls. And then they tried it again, again it worked. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's sounds like a simple tactic, which is again what is working for Rachin Ravi. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And uh, today I really thought that that they would definitely get in a slower bowler after they were ba- hammered so much for in the first two overs. Uh, yeah. Surprisingly, none of that happened. Mm-hmm. And that's where I thought that maybe uh, Shardul would have made a lot of difference in yeah. this kind of a pitch. and he has Probably. got the ability to swing the new ball also not many people know but when he when he used to play for mumbai ranji trophy uh, he he was he had a quite a bit of pace in him but now he's become a, sort of that wily bowler who can get hit but he'll yeah. take you wickets he'll get you wickets are dude he played in the ranji trophy damn well no i think wasn't he player of the series or something i don't know something he did but he was a player of the final because in the final he yes. literally helped mumbai win and in the yeah. semi final also he helped mumbai win so he's he's uh, crazy he's in uh, form he's in yeah. form yeah. you know it's, it's yeah, very yeah. strange that they're not using him in uh, you know in the test matches he is not too bad and he's not a rabbit with the bat and a good yeah. fielder so everything goes for him so maybe they are saving him for the after five matches six matches uh, god knows do but also like mukesh choudhary for example okay ek over dala wo banda bechara pichle saal bahut acha dala he came one over he bowled gave 27 runs and honestly it was a horrible over Like it was literally. Yeah, where he's like, where he's like batting practice. Chahiye batting practice. Huh? Abhishek. Oh, <laughs> so they went with him. Impact player. I think even uh, Shardul was there. They went with Chaudhary. Oh, that's yeah. some great thinking. Per- yeah, but also like, the impact can be either direction. No, it can be the impact for the other team also. So he made an huh? impact. MP, you definitely a, made yeah. 27 yeah. runs. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and by the way, this is actually a great point by Stijit, whose uh, Santner has more seasons on the bench for CSK than number of games he's played, which I find absolutely ridiculous. Santner's yeah. T20 records across the world are crazy, right? And, and just because you have a left-arm spinner playing doesn't mean you can't have. And you have Rajin Ravindra, who you are anyway not bowling. So I don't. I actually have more patience for uh, Santner than for uh, Mahesh Tikshana Th- right now. Yeah, and I, I, I uh, Santner was also in good form in the last uh, series that he played in the international one. He yeah, had yeah. Uh, batted quite well, bowled quite well, and I think even the league at, uh, he was doing quite well. So I'm, I'm sometimes it's really or they're saving him for the uh, latter part of the IPL. We do not know, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. Some some people should not. And I thought Chennai would have wanted to win today's match. You know, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Patrana not being there, uh, Santner not being there. अपने अपने बच्चे लोग में से सी मोइन अली बिचारा दो विकेट तो लिया. Batting का मौका नहीं मिला. जडेजा तीस रन नो विकेट. 
देश पांडे टू ओवर्स ट्वेंटी रन तीक्षण फोर ओवर्स ट्वेंटी सेवन रन वन विकेट सो ई रचिन रविंद्र बोल्ड वन ओवर एंड ई गेव अवे ओनली थ्री रन सो Dude, Adi Jadeja batting, any. Jadeja. I don't, I don't understand the logic of sending Jadeja in in anything beyond like the the 16th over. Like oh, whatever the time they send, 31 or 23 in the slog overs is nothing. Yeah, that's honestly just not great at all. Um, so yeah. Even the yeah. commentators were saying that they are 15 runs short. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. Just because that, what art film by what is that? Snidget <laughs> <laughs> said, "I guess just because Santa brings an art film vibe, they don't pick him, which is kind of it makes sense. Like Santa is like Santa is like a Sri Ram. What's his name? Who's Sri Ram Raghu. Yeah, he's he's Sri like Ram. he's like yeah, he's he's like that. Arey, paradeya, meleya, meh tere ko chodega nahi re. But by the way, the CSK has just lost two matches right now, and I don't think they are the kind of team which will panic. So, abhi they are. I think they'll maintain the same players. Or end me, agli match mein jaake fordenge, and then we'll all look like idiots. Um, uh, so yeah, let's uh, take a few comments which have come in for um, for uh, uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad. Where is it gone? Yeah, Frankie Karag Kune says it's a good time to be a Sunrisers fan right now. Any good gin suggestions? Ah, that's a. <laughs> सीमलेसली <laughs> I think I think what is happening during IPL all these guys these youngsters yeah. have become very good in their math you know percentages calculation and all that stuff so maybe they should appear for some you know GMAT yeah. and all that stuff after the tournament gets over yeah cat <laughs> GMAT and they're getting into MBAs but by the way we have to get into this Suresh because this is a very important question to ask you okay and this is a question that is coming from Stijit and i know this is the biggest and, and everybody is going to get angry that are srh or csk ka match wapas tum ye yahi topic ke bare mein baat kar rahe ho but everybody's opinion is important about important gossip like this as a true blue mumbai ka what does suresh man have to say on hardik rohit a mumbai ambani crowd manjrekar issue all of it what do you think about everything that's been happening suresh i i think the crowd is absolutely right when they want to boo somebody who they feel you know there's nothing wrong in that and you know honestly speaking when i saw him in the first match when he decided to come with that uh, blue band around his head and bowl the first over i was like what the hell you know this is like hero giri you know come on there's no strategy out there he's not i mean he does bowl uh, well but he always used to come as a first or second change bowler and the, suddenly you he wanted to prove something in gujarat that i am going to take a wicket in my first over it it is going to backfire because you're not thinking straight as a captain you are doing some hero giri over there so seriously that didn't go on well with the uh, gujarat crowd obviously they booed him mumbaikers also didn't like that because they could see that somebody who is having a winning streak rohit sharma uh, okay uh last two seasons it was not too good for mumbai mumbai indians but i think rohit is still somewhere down the line still has uh, nuances of playing the game knows his team very well and has some great decision making on uh, skills on the field this guy is more of hero giri you know it's like you know that uh, mai kar ke aaya it looked like that only he already done everything and i reached there he blew band and all this stuff it was i mean he looked like a clown unfortunately and he's such a great talent with the bat he can turn around any match you know now it seems that he is bogged down by this pressure of uh, playing for mumbai indians you know when with, when he was with gujarat titans you could see that there's a freedom because there were not yeah. no senior players around him he was the senior most yeah. so that really made him come out so maybe was it a wise decision for him to shift to mumbai at that time when you already are a king in a place and you have done so well it would probably made sense for him to stay back in gujarat mumbai would have found their way we are still in the changing uh, process where we still have to get a winning, winning combination right uh, having said that i think it was uh, lovely to see that youngster uh, from south Af- or africa all of 17 years bowl in the last match that so it, uh, it made me happy the first match he got hammered the second match he did take a wicket and he was not bad at all i could see the 17 year old guy i mean yeah. come on that to a fast bowler that was something really strange but uh, my take manjrekar 
uh, should take it easy. He cannot tell the crowd that he, he could, don't boo and all that stuff. You know, those are the paying audiences over there. They got every right to do that. Uh, when films flop, actors uh, face the flag. When cricketers flop, they will face flag from the spectators. And Mumbai audiences are much more gentler and kinder. We have seen the sort of things that can happen uh, somewhere else in some other stadiums. So, Mr. Manjarekar should have just taken it easy, gone with the Mumbaikas and rather than telling them to behave and all that, said, hey, please support our captain. That would have been a better thing to say and not show anger at the crowd when they are booing. I don't... Yeah. There will be unparliamentary words said and all that stuff, but... Uh, I think cricketers know as much as actors ki hit or a miss, uh, the fans' uh, perception of you, uh, you will change. And you have to take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I like that. I like that idea of Sanjay Manjit. If he had said at the point, is like, uh, Mumbai, are you ready to support your captain? They would have booed more. The scoreboard would have come. <laughs> so, so, my perception, uh, my POV on this was, I think, like, it's like, haan, okay, badas nikal di, achha hai. Nikal do apna badas. Now, let's move on. We've had three matches of booing. Let's move on now. It's getting, also as a joke, it's getting old, no? But I fully agree with like, I think crowd has the, this thing to boo whoever the hell they want at the end of the day. But it's I think it seems like it's getting too much to, uh, for him. By the way, yeah. we have uh, we have uh, a couple of people saying now a very important thing, which is uh, uh, <laughs> saying, Suresh sir very close to booing Gardik himself here. But more importantly, Stijit has said, uh, Suresh Menon is fake Sachin, Sachin to pacify the crowd would work. <laughs> I think that is a great idea. Yeah, they'll probably <laughs> boom me even more and they'll forget what to make for sure. I think uh, uh, I myself wouldn't like to do that in front of Sachin because uh, whatever said and done, I imitated him. But for me, he still and always will remain god of cricket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, there's now rumors coming in that uh, and I, lo I love these fake th according to sources. Okay, where they say Rohit Sharma to quit uh, Mumbai Indians uh, because oh, he's like it's all about respect. And I'm like, boss, ek to, this is something everybody knows. This is not like a source. This is public opinion, which is probably reality. <laughs> that <laughs> mega auction wo jane wala hai. And then they are like, he's going to get millions of uh, rupees and dollars and all for the next auction. I'm like, dude, he's 36 years old. <laughs> like, I <don't> think, <laughs> like, I love Rohit Sharma. <laughs> Let's, let's chill out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think I think uh, I want what I want to see in Rohit Sharma is now that uh, 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 you know Gay abandoned with which he can play the game and just start you know scoring uh, those massive sixes that he consistently does that and bat as if there's no care in the world you know bat as if it's your last IPL bat as if it's your last day of playing cricket you know you should just uh, relax a little bit because I still believe Rohit Sharma one of those players who can only get themselves out. Uh, and if he's in full flow, nobody can match up to him. I'm, we are, I'm still waiting to see this innings this year at least. The last two IPLs were very disappointing with Rohit was concerned. But this year, I'm sure that's that one big hundred just around the corner. Nobody can stop Rohit except uh, Travis Head at cover. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but okay, listen, by the way, somebody said this right up talk or, or, or to just talk about today's match itself, okay? Which is that today's match was literally, uh, this is what right wing said. All those who are thinking Dhoni will take revenge for World Cup final. <laughs> Dude, there is literally, that's exactly what I wanted. Like, forget everything else. The only reason I wanted CSK to win was because I like, Hatre Cummins, ye hota hai captaincy. <laughs> then, then they still lose. I'm like, this is frustrating. No, but, but Cummins has been a wonderful captain in all the matches uh, yeah. so far. Because he's not got anything wrong, and also he's setting uh, examples, you know, and that's all they have to follow. The way Covins was bowling, yeah, but Tushar Desh, but I'm going to bowl at 160 today. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I'm Chaudhary, and I'm going to bowl at 170 kilometers per hour today. Talk. Six. 27 runs gone, son. Uh, yeah. So that's about it, you know. Uh, what is this? Why Suresh Man bald in your thumbnail? Somebody is asking. Uh, yeah, somebody has asked this I'm... question at least 14 times now where they're like, why is Suresh Man and bald in your thumbnail? That's because oh of my this. God. Yeah, oh my God. but uh, I love wearing my wig, especially it saves me from the AC at home. Yeah. That is, a, this is Nani Core 4 has asked this question at least four times. So, good, okay, good. We answered this very important question. Uh, I'm bald. A, uh, actually, and this is the wig that I wear. This is my favorite Sachin Tendulkar wig. Where somehow on uh, match reviews on Shorab's show, I consistently wear this. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, by the way, you know, I have I have this theory I, and I, I was trying to do, I don't know if anybody's come up with this theory. I was tracking baseballs, fastest balls. 
Okay, and the baseball's fastest ball is about 165 or 170. And I think the pitch is literally a little bit shorter than the cricket pitch. And they bowl direct. So, obviously, it's going to be more velocity or whatever it is. Yeah, it's so almost it, like throwing the ball. It's like throwing, it is literally throwing the ball and crazy, yeah. of course, crazy athleticism and all that. And even in cricket, so it turns out that whether, whichever sport you're playing in, whichever part of the world, maybe 160 is the fastest anybody can bowl in that, in that, in that thing. Like 160 is, you can't go beyond 165 is, is what it is. Uh, I mean, they also, and, and this is proven because baseball, may they do steroids or not. Baseball, may, this is as cricket fans, people will be so surprised to know that in baseball, they cheat to win. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baseball is you know, it's like kapra dhune ka lakdi jaisa hai, and they're you know they're bashing a ball which is thrown at them from close range, and they're running yeah. around you know making triangles out there, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people are sliding. There are three, four umpires on the field. You don't never know who you're going to hit. A strange yeah. game. Give me cricket any day. Are right, dude? I'd watch that also. Okay. So, um, okay, let's uh, let's get down to this uh, last uh, couple of questions and then we'll bounce out of here. Very important question Rachit Rao has asked. Can you please ask Suresh what headphones he's wearing? Oh, this is a uh, gaming headset 733 uh, Logitech. So given to me by um, Mr. Kovaco. And thanks for asking because I think you're testing me. I know this very well. <laughs> 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 oh, so you have you have the link open in front of you, like no, no, I don't. no, because in the in the earlier uh, live that I was doing with Jose, somebody asked him about it, so I made sure that I remembered. But I didn't expect <laughs> anyone to ask me this over here, so my memory is still good. So I'm very happy about that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Chalo, let's wrap up. Uh, everybody who's tuned in, thanks a lot for your time. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, Suresh, as usual, great fun. Uh, la last question, I'll ask you, which I ask all my guests to pop in. What's been uh, your A favorite moment of the IPL so far? And also one moment that really made you laugh. Where something that happened that was really, really funny and something that happened where you were like, boss, highlight of the entire this thing. Ah, See, this IPL, I've not watched too many of uh, matches. Uh, I missed Mayank Yadav's... Uh... Uh, fastest ball 157 I think that was and the last match I did see him but uh, you know I just realized now uh, somewhere down the line um, damn most memorable match so far I think I, I, uh, I, I'll go back to Mumbai's match where we were hmm. chasing two, down 277 I expected our team to go down team tamely but reaching 240s was also a big thing uh, chasing 277 is not easy and coming to 246 I, do, I thought we uh, if we had batted uh, well at the earlier stages, it would have been a different game altogether. Probably Mumbai chasing 277 would have been the talk of the day. But uh, that was, for me, that was the best match because I think our team didn't give up. They went fighting till the end. Yeah, this is good. And uh, I'll tell you my favorite moment. Dude, Mayank Yadav watching that Cameron Green ball to him was the highlight of the of the IPL so far. In the comments, let me know what's been your uh, your favorite uh, highlight in the in the comments. Let me know. And uh, a hilarious moment is, uh, I've mentioned this before, Suresh, I'd love to know what you think about this, which is that uh, um, there's an ad of Dream 11 where uh, Preeti Sintha pulls up in a car and then oh, gives, yeah. the key, gives the keys of the car to Rishabh Pant. And I was like, dude, what are you guys doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Delhi kabhi, Delhi kabhi, and World Cup, uh, kabhi IPL jita hai, then he asked that, na, so, yeah, yeah. kabhi kabhi jita hai, so, <laughs> that was very yeah. funny, that was a funny ad, and yeah. I think the other one with, uh, uh, Ashwin sleeping and these two guys with, uh, uh, our rapper, yeah, yeah. Uh, Baba Saigal, Baba Saigal, that was yeah. really funny. That was also very funny. Some ads are really funny. And yeah. I love it when they throw <laughs> Ranveer Singh and Johnny Sins in between. Those ads are also funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this Tijit says, uh, end me to Mumbai hi jitega. And immediately, uh, Anni has said, delusional bro. <laughs> so, so nobody believes it except Tijit. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Mumbai can make yeah. a big comeback. But maybe they should let Pollard play again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sunil Shetty, the, I think the Dream 11 ads are actually really, really fun. There's a lot of fun. I think the acting has been great. Still greatest line delivery. Suresh, as a, as a professional actor, let me let me know. What do you think of Sanju Samson telling Mohinder Amarna, Sir, aap bhi chalo ho gaye. What a great, beautiful delivery. It was so nice because it... And also, dude, every time I see these ads, I try to figure out what the hierarchy of cricketers is. Right? Because yeah. Sanju Samson is not the... Uh, he, he's not got the grade A contract or whatever the shit it is. Uh, so they are basically like, ha, to see it, yeah, to see it. 
So you will always yeah. be dominated in every ad, even though you love Sanju Samson, but yeah. Correct, I know, but <laughs> Sanju Samson, I always feel when he bats well in the initial <laughs> stages of IPL, uske baad iska scores are dismal. It's like 26, 24, 13, then one random yeah. six will crop up somewhere. But his earlier matches, there will be one big 80s, berega, 70s, berega, and then goes down. It's all downhill. The ad yeah. with Jimmy Amarna it was really funny because ek to, I've, I had the privilege and pleasure of actually playing cricket with uh, Jimmy, sir, and a lot of the 83 World Cup uh, uh, winner captains and uh, uh, cricketers. I had the privilege of playing tennis ball cricket, of course, but uh, really good, good fun that was. And uh, Jimmy Amarnath has got a nice pleasant sense of humor. So, you know, you don't look yeah. at him as a guy who will put down anyone. You know, very gently you'll do it. <laughs> so, I think they've got on all the gentle people over there. You know, like, you know, Are, kare, sir, aap bhi. You know so everyone is happy. So, nobody is trying yeah. to roast anyone over there. So, it has a, actually, it looked like a very nice, sweet family ad, you know, in the end. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's good ads, man. I mean, whoever wrote those ads, like I know Vishal Dayama has written a bunch of uh, recent ads, etc. Whoever's written those ads, good stuff. I think overall, uh, good quality stuff. Because I mean, having good I fun. think both of us have worked with cricketers before and with teams, and you know what the the the, the line is so small. So to go through <laughs> yeah. that line and still be funny is is and especially yeah. GC is 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 insane. Um, cool. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody watching once again. Suresh, anything you'd like to promote? Suresh is on uh, Instagram. He's on Twitter. He's uh, probably going to be returning in Big Boss Malayalam as the host uh, taking over. <laughs> oh, host. Fine. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would love to be the host of Big Boss Malayalam because, you know, I think what they should do, should they should uh, pick out some guys who are evicted and make them co-host with the superstar. Mohan yeah. Lan, you can never take his place. But... Uh, you know, and then be with him and then take the piss out of every contestant. That would have been real fun. You know, then some real roasting would have happened. Hey, this is a thought that I should share with uh, Disney and Asia and tomorrow itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think all of us, I, I, this is the problem with being a freelancer. Every second moment, you're like, can this make me money? Is yeah. this the solution Seriously. to my EMI? <laughs> hey, this is this the solution to my kids' further studies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, super. Thanks, everybody who tuned in. Uh, uh, Jadani J uh, Jovanovic, everybody else who commented. Stejit, of course, uh, thanks a lot for keeping your comments running. I will try and do this live tomorrow as well. Uh, I'm going to be in uh, in uh, Chennai for a college show on uh, on Monday. Yes, yes, Suresh. I, I think somebody's mentioned Sunil Shetty and KL Rahul with Rohit, the best ideas, definitely. I really loved that. And yeah. Annie, no, I'm not that old. I was uh, doing stand-up and these uh, cricketers were all there for an event. And I happened to get a chance to play also, you know, for seven years continuously. So, no, I'm not that old. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> the, the question in the comments is people asking is is Suresh as old as, as Jimmy Amarna, <laughs> which is a lot. Which I, make you that's why I specifically said tennis ball cricket, not season. You know, so. yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, also, I'm going to be in Bangalore doing a doing a show, doing a stand up show on the 18th of April. So if you're allowed around, please come. Doing a very small show, just testing out some material, recording some reels. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, these small intimate shows are actually a lot of fun. So sorofun.com for tickets. Uh, Suresh, anything coming up? Uh, oh, nothing. So, <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm very frank that way. No, I, yeah. Whatever has had to come, I'm already out of that place. So, there's no need to vote for me right now because I'm in a, I'm in Mumbai, back in Hamchi, Mumbai. I'm really yeah. happy for that. And uh, uh, yeah, some something may be coming up soon, but uh, that's uh, more when I can speak about it right now. I can't. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, please be uh, on time on uh, April 18th uh, to watch Surab show in Bangalore, uh, Bengaluru, because you know that there's a lot of traffic. So please take care, be on <laughs> yeah. time. And uh, Surab yeah. will, uh, he's a madman, madcap, and I would give anything to be on, on that show one day. Yeah, and also I'm going to be carrying a bottle of 20 liter Kinley. Uh, so, uh, too, ah. because it's Bangalore. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. anybody wants at the airport, I'll be happy to share. So, thanks a lot for everybody tuning in. Really appreciate it, Suresh. Always a pleasure. Uh, goodbye, everybody. I'll hope to see you tomorrow, figuring out uh, who's going to be on the lineup. Uh, love you all. Marry me. Goodbye. Ending the stream now. End it. Bye, all. <laughs>